Hello and welcome back. This is the second video in an introduction to using Rapid Miner Studio. In this video, we're going to visualize data that we imported from the first video. If you haven't watched the first video, please do so now because it's the foundation for this one. So let's get started. Take a look on the right over there. See that big yellow arrow? That's currently where we are in this business process cycle between the data understanding and the data prep. We're going to take the data that we imported and visualize it. But before we do, we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping. So let's switch over to the Rapid Miner interface. When we last left off in the first video, we dragged and dropped the data file in an Excel spreadsheet and did some minor configurations in our parameter window. And what you see here is the read Excel operator. But we didn't save it anywhere. What happens if we want to reuse this process later? Well, the way to do that is to save the process in your local repository. Do you remember in the first video, if I come down to the lower left here, I kind of talked about this over here, you know, where you can make your database connections and where you store your processes? Right here, local repository. That's where we're going to store it. So let's click on this plus button here and expand it you'll see that RapidMiner creates two default directories. You, of course, can create your own, but RapidMiner, we like to split things into where the data files are located as well as the process files. So this is a process file. So I can come over here to my file pull-down menu and I can do Save Process As, or I can do a handy, neat little trick by coming over here, selecting this, right-clicking, and say store process. So let's go do that. Let's say 01 import customer data. Great. Congratulations, you just saved your first process. But maybe it's not a good idea to always load that spreadsheet in all the time. Wouldn't it be better to have a local data store that you can drag and drop in? Well, we can do that in Rapid Miner. So let's just save the Excel spreadsheet into the Rapid Miner data format. We would need a store operator. So let's navigate up here to the upper left. In the search bar, type in store. There it is. Highlight it, drag it over. When you see the line get thick, just let go and drop it on there. It'll make a connection. But the Rapid Miner store operator is giving me a little red dot here, giving me an error. If I were to now run this, it'll say, oh, a required parameter is missing. Okay, well, what does that mean? Let's come over here. Over here to the right, you see this? It says, please set the parameter. Ah, we need to give the data file a name. And we need to save it somewhere. All right, I got it. Let's come over here, navigate to the right side. Let's click on this little folder button. Okay, now let's move over to where the data folder is. Let's select that. And let's give it a, a name, customer data. Hit OK. And now that error message goes away. So let's run it. Let's see what happens. Great. We saw this in the first video. We saw this output that looks a lot like a spreadsheet. But let's take a deeper dive into this. Let's see what it all means. Up on the top ribbon here, it says 996 examples, one special attribute, and four regular attributes. Well, what does that mean? In Rapid Miner, each row is called an example. The data that you load in, the entire data set, is called an example set. So here we have 996 examples, or 996 rows. We have one special attribute and four regular attributes. In Rapid Miner, the columns are called attributes. The ones that are in gray are the regular attributes. And the one in green is a special attribute. In Rapid Miner, anything that is a special attribute, like a label or a role or something else, is colored. It could be green, it could be blue, or yellow. So what does the green mean? What makes it so special? We touched a little bit upon this in the first video. This is called the label. 
This is what we want the model to learn to, and we're going to use all these regular attributes to do so. Great. So what about these other two tabs? Well, we're going to touch on statistics next. Let's click on that. Statistics just gives us a high-level overview of the data to see what type of data it is, are there any missing values, some basic statistics like max, min, maybe an average, and so forth. So let's investigate this a little bit further. Okay, I have all the name of the columns or the attributes. I see a type here, which is the data type. Are they binomial or polynomial, real or integers? Anything that's missing, you can see here we have 96 missing values in the churn column. And some basic statistics like for the age, the minimum is 17 and the maximum is 91. But did you see here what I just did? I just clicked on this bar here and I opened up a mini chart. This mini chart is just to give you a visual high-level overview of how the data is distributed. But if I wanted to dive in and get a more detailed view, I can. Let's just click on open chart. But when I do, it'll take me to the charts tab. So there's two ways to get to visualizing your data. Clicking the charts tab over here or coming over here and clicking on this hyperlink. Great. Now we dive into the rapid minor visualization workbench. You can see here I have age, I have a nice histogram of it, and I can see how it's distributed. But what happens if I want to visualize my data in other ways? You can definitely do that in rapid minor. Come over here. Pull down this pull down menu here, and you could see what we have. Scatter charts, series charts, distribution charts, histograms, pie charts, you name it. We provide the data scientist, data analyst, business user a way to visualize their data and work with it inside Rapid Miner. So let's click on another one. Let's click on scatter chart. Okay, great. Well, what do we see here? Oh, a couple different things. It says easy to change the x-axis and y-axis. We can do something like last transaction or churn or payment method, age, gender, so forth. We can even come here and change the colors. We can change this to gender. All very, very simple to do in Rapid Miner. And that's it. That's how you actually visualize the data. Thank you so much for watching.